in my early 20s I was part of a government agency dedicated to discovering extraterrestrials. These aliens once reported was investigated by me and members of my team. This is only one of many tales I can recall from memory. My first contact was made in West Virginia. It was also the worst experience I've ever dealt with. We interviewed many witnesses before we went to the actual locations of the sightings. The witnesses all described a similar being and of course the most unpleasant odor within the area. The description was unique and something I never heard of before. It never really attacked or harmed anyone and was gone shortly after being seen. But the odor still remained. It was pungent nasty and many many times it is described as intolerable now most of us were skeptical as that was our first assignment but a few of us would leave after this mission too I did not, but many of them that I knew did. It was 1952 in early autumn, I believe September or possibly August, I'm not sure which. Our first stop was a farm, or more specifically the hillside on that farm. To protect the witnesses and people in this story, I'm not going to reveal their names. That includes the agents I worked with as well. But those names will forever be logged in Project Blue Book. Now there was another sighting about five miles away. Both areas were tested for radiation and came up negative. In fact, nothing seemed unusual in either location except perhaps plants that were flattened. And that was the only evidence left. Two teens with three people assigned to each location. Our supervisor, let's call him Agent Smith, and the other person, let's call him Johnson. The three of us spent the night near the farm. Wilson and two others spent the night at the other location, five miles away. In the morning we would rendezvous and compare what we heard or witnessed anything unusual that night. Oh, we would have a lot to discuss. The debriefing would no doubt be interesting. The others would describe a glowing object traveling at high speeds through the night sky. The three of us would have a different tale when we finally recovered from the incident. A large crash and strange light pulled our attention to the northern part of the area. The three of us immediately made our way there. Agent Smith of course took the lead with Johnson following and I trailed behind to make sure nothing crept up behind us. The smell was worse than I could remember. It was so awful it made me gag, and I thought I was going to lose my lunch. Poor Smith did lose his lunch on the spot. Smith stood frozen. 
something caught his attention. And then I saw what he saw when I topped the hill. It easily stood ten foot tall, had a huge round face that was orange, eyes glowed yellow, reminded me of two flashlights, and a green body, no doubt, made of a suit or uniform. The head was pointed like a spear that you find on a deck of cards or a spade if you get that reference. And the red hands ended in some wicked, nasty looking claws. It floated above the ground and not once did we see its feet. The light from its eyes blinded us as it turned and saw us. We had to look away. It glided toward us quickly and we took aim at the creature. Johnson accidentally fired first, his hands shaken as he screamed in horror. Agent Smith nodded, and we both joined in. The rounds did not stop it, but it did slow down. Shots bouncing off of what sounded like metal. This confirmed it was a suit or perhaps armor. The noise echoed in the darkness. And that's when his glowing eyes took on a red tint. That was the last thing I remember. I woke him in a hospital bed. As it seemed we had passed out. Agent Smith woke up first and had already been debriefed. Johnson was nowhere to be found. Did he quit? Was he killed? Was he stolen away? I never found out. Apparently I did not have a need to know. The papers called it the Flatwoods Monster or Green Monster. All I know is I was vomiting for a week after the encounter. I also showed signs of blood poisoning. Only Wilson Smith and myself was at the debriefing. Oh, that was the first of many encounters, and no doubt the worst. But I still do the job until the day I retired. Welcome to the Shadowlands. Thank you for watching my video. It really does mean a lot to me that you enjoyed it. And if you did, let me know by liking and subscribing. You can also click the bell, bell overhead and give me a comment if you want. I also have a description for Amazon deals. So be sure to come back next week for more cryptic tales.